This video will be uh, the coffee cups that I make, the current design I'm doing, these right here. Uh, this is 18 ounces of clay, 1.2 pounds. I measure all the balls out. Uh, I'll do 25 pounds at a time. Measure all the balls out of a 25 pound bag. Cut them, measure them, uh, spritz them with water and put them right back in the bag. So they're sitting over here to the side. I throw on uh, one bat the whole time and then I move each piece off of it onto a wear board. Mine are just cut up pieces of drywall. Uh, that seems to work the best. It seems to pull moisture out of the base rather than something that's solid like this plastic. The base doesn't dry. Uh, if the bat is clean like this, uh, the clay doesn't stick. If there's anything on there, if you wet the, just as much as on one finger, you don't want it slimy. You don't want it wet. Uh, you just don't want any dirt on there. Again, all my pieces I take, I roll them. To the bottom has no inclusions in it, no lines, because you'll see those lines when you get done. I've already made a couple and I've put my little guide out here I want it. This is the one that's got a swing away. I seem to like it better. Um, and I put a really heavy weight back here in the back, so this is probably about 10 pounds. There's no way it's going to move. Even if I bump it, it's less likely to move. And I really wrench these down because I don't want to whack it and then have to put one back on the wheel to take the measurement. I don't use a ruler. I just take one, get the most out of can of the height out of uh, 18 ounces, and that's what I live with. Uh, everything is normal on this. This is straight out of the bag. I don't cut any corners here because I don't like to trim my coffee cups for something this small when all it takes is just really good centering. Same thing I always do. I get it centered. I just make a little divot with this part of my finger. Open it up. I don't measure the bottom, but you can just as easily put a depth gauge in there. The diameter of the bottom of this coffee cup is really only about that much. So I don't spend a lot of time compressing the clay. And if it was if it was probably this much or wider, I'd bring my rib, I'd really compress the clay to avoid cracks. But anything with the bottom, say this wide or smaller, I don't compress it. I've never had a problem with this high water clay cracking. All the way up, I want the rim real pretty. So I'm gonna Pay attention to that every time. That was one. Let's see if I can get it in two. Okay. If you look close, real close, you can see I'm a little shy to the bottom and I'm a little shy to the inside. It needs to be taller and wider. But that's on my second pull, so I'm happy because. I will change the shape of this piece with my rib. And the reason I do the rib is I want this side straight, smooth, and all the water off of it. Ones that I reuse my bat, I like the pieces dry when I try to pick them up. This is the easiest way to do it. My coffee cups, this, this series I'm doing now, are just straight sides. Super easy to make. You can see by working my sides, I brought it up to where I want it to be. Get it to brim just one more time. I'm happy with that. Take the water out. Take the bat. And then to get the swirl design in it, it's really complicated. I support the inside with this hand. It's mostly, mostly, it's clean, but it's still a little damp. And I use this outside of my thumb. Now, you, it'll leave some trash on here, little bits of clay, but you can just flick them off when it's leather hard. I don't mess with them now. But now I've got a nice, clean, dry surface. And the top will get out around. I got a little, just a tiny bit of wobble in my top. 
Now's when I come back. Let him shimmy. That's good. And you can get real close. You can see little pieces of trash on it. Just little tiny pieces. Not enough to worry about anything now. You can see some on that one. That stays on till it's leather hard. Don't be afraid to pick your clay up. Dry hands. Clean, dry hands. Just one swipe across the tail. Spread the surface area of your hands out and it will it'll stay round. These will sit out probably five hours. Uh, nah, probably two hours where the tackiness is gone. So when I throw my plastic over it tonight, it won't stick and misshapen it just by the plastic litting on it. And doesn't leave those little pull marks when you peel the plastic off the next day. It's just dry to the touch, still real soft. And then it'll probably sit out in summer four hours. And they're ready for handles. And I'll do one for uh, handles for you too.